The Ministry of Agriculture, Animal Industry and Fishery, MAEIF, in partnership with the World Bank, is rolling out a $248 million agriculture project to help farmers build capacity. The Director of Crop Resources, who represented the permanent secretary, Mr. Okasai Opolot, said agricultural growth has stagnated at 3% against the targeted growth of 6% due to lack of funding to boost the sector. Mr. Opolot said the project will be piloted in five districts and will begin with five crops that are selected because of the national food and nutrition demand and market in the region. The fruits are maize, rice, beans, cassava and coffee. The State Minister of Agriculture, Christopher Kibazanga, said during a stakeholder engagement with the World Bank and private sector in Kampala last week that the ACDP will take five years with one year, which will be used to pilot the project. He said the core beneficiary of the project are farmers, especially smallholders and other value chain actors at the local districts and national levels. This includes farmers, associations, cooperatives and a variety of private sector actors. Agriculture Credit Facility ACF Fund was set up by the government of Uganda in partnership with commercial banks. Uganda Development Bank Limited, micro deposit taking institutions and credit institutions all referred to as participating financial institution. The facility is intended to provide medium and long-term loans to projects engaged in agriculture and agro-processing. It is administered by the BOU with provision for a grace period of three years and the interest rate being a maximum of 10% per annum. Libya's United Nations backed forces to control of two of the nation's biggest oil ports on Tuesday after clashes between rival armed groups led to a halt in shipments. A statement from the Petroleum Facilities Guard PFG head Idris Bou Kamada said, PFG has obtained control of oil facilities at the ports of ex Sida and Ras Lanouf under the authorization of the Presidential Council. Bou Kamada said Libya's National Oil Corp can now inform all oil companies to return to installations under PFG control. And he urged Haftar's Air Force to refrain from carrying out any bombardments that could harm the facilities. A militia group, Benghazi Defense Brigades, captured the ports on March 3. Air Sider and Ras Lanouf, the North African nation's largest and third largest oil ports respectively, had been under the control of Eastern-based military commander Khalifa Haftar. Libya, a member of the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, has been trying to boost its oil production following an internal conflict that escalated in late 2014 but has shown signs of coming in recent months. The nation produced about 700,000 barrels of oil a day in February, according to Bloomsburg estimates. And now we have news from other Africa.